What's up guys, it's Lauren from Mattress Nerd, your favorite editor and certified sleep science coach. Today I brought the Helix Midnight Lux mattress into our nerd lab. I'm gonna run it through a series of geeky tests to help you determine if it's the best mattress for you. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now I'm gonna go over some quick hits regarding Helix Sleep's policy so you know exactly what to expect when you buy. Now the Midnight Lux mattress ships free and comes with the industry standard 100 night sleep trial period, meaning for up to 100 nights you can sleep on this mattress and try it out, see if it's for you. If it's not, no harm, just return it for a full refund, but if you do decide to keep it, you get a 15 year warranty, which is five years longer than the industry standard. But if you want to know more about either of these policies in depth, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Just like those cleaning products that make you really dizzy or the extra lock you use to keep intruders out, the ingredients and materials used in your mattress matter because mattress construction is the foundation of a good mattress performance. So it's time to cut our way into the Helix Midnight Lux to get a good look at the layers and how they perform. But for all my fellow agents of destruction out there, don't try this at home because you're gonna avoid your warranty. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, the Helix Midnight Lux mattress is 14 inches tall and it uses a combination of foam and coils. Now starting with this pillow top here, it uses a material called Tensile, which is supposed to have a lot of airflow and add some breathability to your mattress, which is really great if you're a hot sleeper. Here on top we have some pressure relieving foam that's supposed to contour to your body and have a medium feel. Here we have some gel foam that is also supposed to add some support and contouring to your mattress. And here we have a transition layer that adds some extra bounce and it also adds as a nice transition to the coils down here, which is our main support layer. Over a thousand supportive coils that are softer at your head and feet, but firmer in the middle to add proper alignment. Plus you get some extra bounce, breathability, durability, and edge support out of these coils here. At Mattress Nerd, we rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is softer than what it probably feels like to sleep inside the plush doze of a Cinnabon, and 10 is firmer than my determination to brave them all so I can get one after this video is over. But the Helix Midnight Lux mattress is a six out of 10 on the scale, which we classify as medium firm. And it's gonna work best for the average side and back sleeper, but we also wanna see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. As I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. We're getting some great bounce on this mattress, some good air, so combination sleepers shouldn't have a problem moving around on this bed. All right, y'all, I'll level with you. I too was once a newbie to the mattress buying game and didn't really give much thought to my sleeping position. The good old days. But a bed will perform differently based on your sleep position and body type, so think about if you spend the majority of the night on your side, back, or stomach as I move through this section. Now, side sleepers are like anyone who thinks that their sleep position is the superior sleep position. They make up majority of the population. All they need is a mattress that keeps the spine aligned and release pressure from the hips and the shoulders. And for average weight and heavyweight side sleepers, the Helix Midnight Lux does just that, but lighter weight sleepers did see some pressure issues in those hips. Now back sleepers are like me after spending an extended amount of time with my family. They can sleep well on almost any surface. All they need is a mattress that keeps the natural S curve of the spine maintained, and this mattress does that for back sleepers of all body types. Now stomach sleepers, like me, just need a mattress that keeps the hips elevated and the spine aligned. Now light and average weight stomach sleepers should be really happy on the Helix Midnight Lux, but heavier stomach sleepers are gonna wanna find something firmer. Making decisions is hard, pro-con lists help, so I made one for the Helix Midnight Lux mattress. First up, the pros. If you don't really know what your primary sleep position is or you do a little bit of all three, this bed does a great job at supporting you and responding to your movements. Next, there are a ton of layers that add breathability to this mattress, which is a big plus for hot sleepers. 
And finally, this bed is made to be a luxury mattress. So if you like your night's sleep to feel like you're sipping a pina colada on a white sand beach, check this bed out. Moving on to the cons, this is not the best bed for heavyweight stomach sleepers. It's simply not firm enough. I recommend you check out the Helix Plus mattress or the Helix Twilight Lux mattress. Next, if you sleep with a partner and you're easily awoken, this may not be the best bed for you because it does transfer some motion. And finally, luxury mattress equals luxury price tag. So if this mattress sounds like it's for you, but maybe a little bit too expensive, we do have some Helix coupons in the description to help you out a little bit. Do with that what you will. All right, my luxury loving friends. It's been so much fun, but unfortunately we've come to the end of the video. But I'll see you soon again in the next one. If you enjoyed this review, hit that subscribe button so we can be there with you every step of the way of your mattress buying journey. And remember, don't lose sleep over choosing a mattress. Let us nerd out and do the work for you so all you have to worry about is getting a great night's sleep. Bye.